Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. The three wonderful stars of the Winter Triangle. Hey there, Stargazers. I'm Ed Romano, amateur astronomer from Rhode Island, and I'll be your guest host this month on Stargazer. Every summer, we frequently talk about the three bright stars that mark the points of the Great Summer Triangle. But because there are so many brilliant stars in the same part of the sky in the winter, we often talk about the six stars of the winter hexagon. But did you know that inside that hexagon is a wonderful winter triangle? Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for any clear night the next couple of weeks between the hours of 8 and 9 p.m. And if you look due south, smack dab in front of you will be the brightest star visible to the naked eye from planet Earth, Sirius, which marks the nose of Orion's biggest of two dogs, Canis Major. Draw an imaginary line up and to the left of Sirius, and you'll come to the second brightest star of the triangle, Procyon, which marks the eye of Orion's smaller dog, Canis Minor. Then, draw a line to the right to the third brightest star of the triangle, the red star Betelgeuse, which marks the shoulder of Orion the Hunter, and the line back to Sirius completes our wonderful winter triangle. And wonderful each star is, especially when we compare each one to our sun. For instance, while our sun is 865,000 miles wide, Sirius is 1,400,000 miles wide, and Procyon is a million and a half miles wide. But they are put to shame by Betelgeuse, which is one of those pulsating stars which actually varies its size. At its smallest, it is 500 times as wide as our sun, and at its largest, 900 times as wide. Wow! So why does Sirius appear the brightest of the three if it's actually the smallest? Simple. It's much closer. Now, as you may recall, stars are so far away that we do not speak of their distances in miles. Instead, we use the term light year. One light year is the distance light travels in one year. Light is the fastest known thing in the universe and travels 186,000 miles per second. So to find out how many miles light travels in one year, simply multiply all the seconds in one year times 186,000 miles, which is roughly six trillion miles. Now our sun is so close that it takes only eight and a third minutes for light to travel from it to our Earth. So we say that our sun is eight and a third light minutes away. Sirius, however, is much farther away 8.6 light years from Earth, and Procyon is even farther, 11.4 light years away. Thus, as astronomer Fred Schaff says, Sirius and Procyon are the birthday stars of 9 and 11 year olds. Because when we look at Sirius this winter, we are actually seeing the light that left it about nine years ago, when nine-year-olds were being born, and the light we see from Procyon this winter actually left 11 years ago, when 11-year-olds were being born. So is Betelgeuse also somebody's birthday star? Well, it is if you were born 525 years ago, because when we look at Betelgeuse this winter, we are actually seeing light that left it in the year 1486, the year both Ferdinand Magellan and Montezuma were six years old. That's a lot of candles on the cake. So get outside and do a little time travel with the stars of the Winter Triangle. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.